It's Football Friday Night, brought to you by GFI Digital. We're there when you need us. Westminster College, Forbes Best Value College in Missouri. Hawthorne Bank, where you'll find signature service. Capital City Christian Church, focused on the one. St. Mary's Sports Medicine, we'll get you back in the game. And Football Friday Night Boosters, Midwest Block and Brick, Hilkey's Ice, and Tony Porter American Family Insurance. Now, here's Rod Smith. And good evening. Welcome to a beautiful football Friday night. Believe it or not, we've reached the midway point of the high school season. This is week number five. We'll begin our coverage in Kansas City. The Jeff City Jays taking a 4-0 record on the road against Park Hill. Ted LePage's team ranked number three among the state's big schools this week. First play from scrimmage is a good one. Thomas LePage over to A.J. Miller. 75 yards later, gets a block here, and he will go the distance. 7-0 Jeff City, what a way to start the game in Kansas City. Devin Moore, a big night for the Jays. The senior back, a 19-yard run here, takes it into Park Hill territory, and that would set up a Devin Moore touchdown. Seven yards and in, 14-0 Jaybirds on top. They came to play tonight. Moore. Another touchdown run here, 24 yards and in would make it 21-0 Jeff City after the first quarter. Moore also caught a touchdown pass. Jays led it 35-0 at the half. They win it 42 zip. Now 5-0 homecoming next week against Washington. Staying in Kansas City, let's go to Rockhurst High School where the number one ranked Hawk that's played host to the Rockbridge Bruins. Rockbridge in at number 10 in class six this week. Bruins stepping up on defense. James Kenny with the interception for the Bruins. But Rockhurst intercepted one right back and they would score. Nick Jones a touchdown pass for the Rock in the second quarter. Bruins starting to move the ball here. Bo Bell to Brad Troyer. He will take this thing into Rockhurst territory. Bruins did get on the board tonight, but the Rockhurst Hawk that's ranked number one will win it. 35 to six Rockhurst travels to Hickman next week, then to Jeff City in two weeks. Back in mid-Missouri, Helias and Hickman going head to head at Atkins Stadium. Both teams coming in at two and two. Hickman had won 10 straight against Helias, dating back to 1972. All defense early. Cubes come up with the interception. Jeff Treadway, outstanding play. Worth another look. One-handed grab for the INT. Cubes would take a 6-0 lead. Devin Larry, a touchdown. Cupies on top. Cole Disler in at quarterback for Helias. Some nice runs. This one out of the shotgun. Touchdown, Crusaders. Helias up 7-6 at the half. What a night for Devin Larry, the junior tailback for Hickman, rushing for 193 yards, including this, a 65-yard touchdown. Cupes would take a 13-7 lead in the third quarter. But Elias regains the lead later in the third. Quarterback Aaron Vossen keeps. Anthony Woodruff, two big field goals for Elias. He now holds the school record. For a single season with eight, Elias holds on to win it. 20 to 13, the 39 year drought over Hickman is over. Elias wins against the QPs. For a complete story on this Elias Hickman game, go to Leffler's link at connectmidmissouri.com. Veteran sports writer Tom Leffler will have the story up within the next hour. Eldon and Osage arrivals in every sport. This year, both football teams have made great strides. Tony Mullen is just back from the home of the Mustangs with the story. Tony. Thanks a lot, Rod. It's week five of the season, and finally tonight, the Eldon Mustangs got to play on their own field. Eldon started the year with four straight on the road. The home opener tonight. The Mustangs coming in with a three and one record. This after winning only one game the previous three seasons combined. Matched with a four and oh Osage team, the Indians strike in the first quarter. Dylan McNerney to Kyle Jones, who reaches over the goal line for the touchdown, 7-0 Tribe on top. But the Mustangs answer on their first possession, pitch it to Brad Dinwiddie, who's had a huge season, breaks this one 62 yards, his 13th touchdown of the season already. Eldon went for two and got it, went up 8-7, but it was all Indians after that. McNerney on the keeper here, look at the nice move here at the 15-yard line. He will just get this one. Over the goal line for a touchdown. Indians led 14 to eight after one quarter. They'd add one more score in the second. Jared Edwards takes the pitch 
Running right through the Eldon defense, he'll go 53 yards to the house, 21 to eight at the half. Osage blows him out in the second half, 48 to eight, the final score tonight in Eldon. So the Indians win it. They are a perfect five and oh. Rod, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Tony. Osage, what a great season. What a great time out at the Blair Oaks tailgate tonight. We featured a Mike Kehoe Football Friday Night Live preview. About 2,000 Blair Oaks fans now have new green T-shirts to add to their Falcon wardrobes. And they enjoyed free hot dogs, sodas, and chips, and a big football game against the arch rivals, the California Pintos. First Falcon possession, Derek Otto. Big pass play, then the short touchdown run added two-point conversion, eight to nothing. The KRCG Central Bank VIP fans liking that. Second quarter, Blair Oaks quarterback Daniel Castillo to Tanner Kemna. Touchdown, Blair Oaks. Falcons up 15 to nothing at the half. Blair Oaks going for more. Deep pass here. Look at the great interception by California's Garrett Baquet. Falcons, they'll go on to win it 29 to 7, moving to 4 and 1 on the season. Still to come, our Taco Bell Team of the Night honors and a lot more high school football highlights. Did South Callaway, the Bulldogs, remain unbeaten? Stay with us on Football Friday Night. Football Friday Night is brought to you by Midwest Block and Brick, building dreams that last a lifetime. Welcome back to Football Friday Night. What a good matchup in Mocaine. The Southern Boone Eagles making a visit to South Callaway. Hometown Bulldogs off to another great start this season. 4-0. Going for five in a row tonight. Bulldogs would get on the board first. Conrad Kemper hooks up with Hunter Leeper. That's a 35-yard scoring strike. 7-0 South Callaway. Eagles answer. Tyler Drayton stiff arms his way through the defense. Diving into the end zone on a 34-yard touchdown run. A game of many big plays. South Callaway led it 7-6 at that point. Bulldogs score two straight long touchdown runs. First, Ben Seitz. 76 yards up the middle, great cutback, untouched for the score, 14-6. Bulldog is happy. Then it's T.J. Buckholtz. This one's even longer, 86 yards for number 22. That one up the middle as well, and then to the near sideline. They were not done. Sights, another touchdown. This one, oh, it's only 25 yards this time. 29-26, uh, I should say, Bulldogs at that point. Ben's dog. Roxanne and the Bulldogs loving this action. South Callaway wins it 50 to 28. The final, they stay unbeaten. Pat Kelly and the Fulton Hornets picked up their first win of the season last week in Marshall. Back at home tonight. Tough test for the Moberly Spartans in town. Pick up the game of the second half. Fulton down 14 0 when they bobble the snap of the punt. It is blocked and Moberly recovers. That leads to the pass from Ben Stecklin to Jalen Troy. Inside the one, Stecklin would score on the next play. Fulton mounting the comeback here with this huge pass. Jacob Matthews to Randall Cole. He is down there leading to a touchdown thanks to a handoff here to Keegan Lee. Kagan, I should say, goes in. But Moberly right back, the draw play. Demaja Smith for the touchdown. Smith and Moberly win it big, 47-7 over Fulton. Centralia wins again. Dax Dollins, three touchdowns, 5-0 for the Panthers as they beat Mark Twain. Hannibal, big over Marshall. It was Kickapoo defeating the Camdens and Lakers. Versailles all over Warsaw, 62 zip. Lebanon defeats Rolla and Owensville wins the Gasconade Cup game. They beat Herman Shawnee Wright. Six touchdowns for the Dutchman tonight. The Boonville Pirates off to a three and one start under first year head coach Devin Brown, who coached at Mexico last season. Tonight he faced his old school, the Mexico Bulldogs making a visit to Boonville. Kickoff in the second half. Ball is stripped. Mexico recovers. Boonville had the lead 12 to nothing at that point. Ensuing drive, Shea Miller. The talented back will take it in. 19-yard touchdown. It was a 12-6 lead for Boonville. Mexico tied the game at 12, forcing overtime, but Boonville wins it. The final 18-12 on the Pirates' homecoming. Did the Tipton Cardinals keep their long regular season winning streak alive? And highlights from North Callaway and Fayette next on Football Friday Night. Coming up, the Taco Bell Team of the Night, brought to you by your Mid-Missouri Taco Bell restaurants. And welcome back to Football Friday Night. The Tipton Cardinals could be on their way to another undefeated regular season. Third-ranked Tipton, 4-0 to start the night, looking for win number five at North Callaway. 
in Kingdom City, but North Cal led it 7 nothing early when Tipton quarterback Riley Brandt scrambles out of the pocket for a nice pickup here. Next Tipton possession ends with this screen pass to Dallas Peoples, who takes it to the house. The Cardinal touchdown. He also tacked on the two-point conversion. He tacked on a whole lot more. 351 total yards for Peoples, five touchdowns. North Callaway comes right back. This great pass quarterback, Jacob Hobner, to Jared Graves, who walks in for the Thunderbird touchdown. However, Tipton wins it big, 50 to 26. And football in Fayette tonight. The Falcons taking flight against the Hallsville Indians. Fayette's opening drive, fourth and goal. This is a touchdown pass. Zach Cook to Jason Asau. Only one problem. They called it back due to a holding penalty. No touchdown on the replayed fourth down. Big night for Miles Drummond. He had four touchdown, uh, four touchdown night as Hallsville wins it. 37 to nothing. Good win for the Indians and a good win for Montgomery County. They win over Winfield 54 to 14. Meanwhile, Westran ekes out a win to stay unbeaten 20 to 14 over Carrollton. Smith Cotton falls to Clinton this evening. It was Salisbury all over North Shelby. Van Farr loses to Wright City 44 to 30. It was Marceline defeating the Paris Coyotes 36 to 7. Cole Camp over Slater and Pacific. A field goal better than St. James. And the other kind of football, a big weekend of high school soccer in Jefferson City, the annual Capital City Invitational. Kicking off today, host Jays in white, taking on Joplin, nearly a goal here. Jeff City, though, would go on to win it 2 nothing over Joplin in their first game of the day. Elias also won their opener, one to nothing over Troy. A lot more soccer tomorrow at the Capital City Invitational. Still to come, our Hilke's Ice, cool shot of the night. And how about the Cardinals, a little baseball. Also a look ahead to a football Saturday when the Tigers have a big test against number one, OU. Tony Porter Agency in Jefferson City, helping good people in bad times. It was one of the greatest wins in the history of Missouri Tiger football. Who can forget that ESPN game day victory over number one Oklahoma last year? Same matchup tomorrow, but this time it's in Norman. Mizzou's second road test of the season. They lost to Arizona State two weeks ago. All the preparation that we do with noise that we bring into practice, uh, how we how we how we prepare our players is something we do always done. Uh, but you also got to get in the arena a little bit, and uh, obviously it's a. Uh, uh, but I think I, I feel real good about that we played in that game. That, I think that's going to help us a little bit. Other football, the Lincoln Blue Tigers get to play at the Edward Jones Dome in St. Louis tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. kickoff against Missouri Southern. Westminster on the road at Greenville. Home games for Central Methodist at 6 in Fayette, Missouri S&T 630 in Rolla. Cardinals and Cubs meeting in St. Louis this weekend. Who would have thought this was going to mean anything a few weeks ago? Eighth inning tied 1-1. When the Cubs, Alfonso Soriano belts a three-run home run. Cards lose it, 5-1. to one. Blame Chester Lampkin. He was at the game. Braves won tonight, so that means the Cards are a full three games back in the wild card race with five games to go. Royals won over the White Sox, 11-1. to one. That is a final. Kansas City, 11-1. to one. And soccer, Texas Tech beats MU, 1-0. Back to high school football for our Hilkies Ice Cool shot of the night. Here it is from the Falcon Athletic Complex. The balloon launch before the game looks like it goes right through the uprights. It's good. Great night for the Central Bank KRCG tailgate. And the coveted Taco Bell team of the night honors as voted on by our football Friday night crew. Let's give it to South Callaway, the Bulldogs. Tim Rulo's team improves to a perfect 5-0 with a 50-28 win over Southern Boone. South Callaway, our Taco Bell team of the night. Go to connectmidmissouri.com for all your scores and to look at the show again. Also vote for the plays of the week this weekend. That is it for our Football Friday Night Show. We're halfway through the regular season. Thanks to our KRCG staff, Tony Mullen, Jeremy Stein, Brandon McElwain, Brian Bourne, Seth Trotter, Lucas Bond, Jim Bynum, Jenny Weiser, and the one and only Chris Kelly at the controls tonight. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. Football Friday Night has been brought to you by GFI Digital, Westminster College, Hawthorne Bank, Capital City Christian Church, St. Mary's Sports Medicine, and your Football Friday Night Boosters.